Hi, this is Ben Sinclair. I'm an MPH candidate at Eastern Washington University, and this is a video number three on creating forms with Epi Info 7. Um, so let's start up Epi Info here. <coughs> uh, we're going to continue working with the form that we have been working with, so we'll create, click Create Forms. And then I'm going to use the file menu, go to Recent Projects. The EPI Learning Project is the one we've been working with. Okay, <coughs> and this is where we left off. Today we're going to just add a few more uh, fields to our form, um, and then arrange them a little bit. So let's start by adding a, a date field on our form. Remember we just click and drag to bring that over. Um, our question, our prompt is going to be date. <coughs> field name. Now it doesn't like the field name, it's showing that in red because EpiInfo already uses that name to record the you know, for something else, and in this case it actually records the date as well, but we want the date to show on our form, so we're going to say date 1, that way it'll accept that. <coughs> and then let's make this a required field so that whoever's filling out the form has to enter this information. We'll just click right here to do that. We'll click OK. And there's our form, our field. <coughs> All right. Um, I'd also like to enter a, a field for age. Um, we'll just, we're going to use that text field for that. And our question or prompt will be age. It automatically fills in the field name. The maximum number of characters, let's say three for that. That way, in case we run into somebody who's a um, hundred years old, that can be entered. <coughs> and click OK. All right. Okay, <coughs> I'm going to create a drop-down menu for um, a field to indicate whether or not someone's pregnant. And we'll use the legal values uh, field for that, so click and drag. Okay, I'm going to call this pregnant. And we need to, since we're doing a drop-down menu, we need to use the data source to create those values. I'm going to create new. And it's just going to be yes and no. Okay. And if you remember the last time, we can keep them in that order by clicking this button, or we can let it sort them alphabetically. I don't mind if it sorts them alphabetically in this case, so we'll just click OK. <coughs> click OK again, and here is our drop-down menu. Okay, finally, I want to find out if someone's pregnant, how many weeks along they are. So um, we'll go ahead and enter another text box for that. <coughs> and I'm going to call this Pregnancy Weeks. The 
we can do a two character maximum for this. And we'll click OK. All right. <clears throat> now, it, our form's looking kind of messy with things just scattered here every which way. Um, I'd like to straighten that up before I keep working. So, an easy way to do that is to click and drag. I'm going to highlight all of the fields we've created. And then I'm going to right click. And here in the middle we have some options here So for aligning. So we can align all these selected fields in one column, or two columns, or three columns, um, or we can put them in a row. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say align in two columns. Now it's moving things around, and there we have. This one I'd actually like to go ahead and move to the side. Just so the pregnancy and pregnancy weeks and whether or not someone's pregnant are together. So, there. We'll leave that just like that. Alright, thank you for watching the video and see you next time for uh, video number four.